Cults are actually religious movements, but false religious movements, according to Dr. Humphrey Mwangi, a philosophy lecturer at Daystar University. They may pick up elements from other religions, but tend to have unique beliefs, often centered around the person who started the cult. It is dominated by a highly charismatic leader who often proclaims him or herself to be divine. Jehovah Wanyonyi, who claims that Jesus Christ is his son, is one such leader. He is worshipped by an estimated 1,000 people. His following has existed for more than 40 years and is registered under the name of Lost Israelites. Dr. Mwangi believes that for a person to join a cult, they must be frustrated and the cult seems to offer them relief. Relatively deprived people requires utopia. And you know utopia never becomes. It's like a good dream which never gets realized. Apparently, cult leaders manipulate the thinking of their followers and eventually capture their time and money. In 2006, self-styled prophet Lucy Nduta was charged of defrauding HIV-infected Kenyans of some 2.4 million shillings under the guise that she could heal them. Yet many members of cultic groups are usually not aware of the extent to which they may have been manipulated, exploited, or even abused. Joining a cult is one of the most dangerous things you can do. I believe a cult is worse than opium. Dr. Mwangi says mind-altering practices such as chanting, meditation, speaking in tongues and heavy workloads are used in excess to suppress doubts about the group and its leaders. They behave in a weird way. House of Yahweh followers had taken to spending their days in underground bunkers as they awaited the end of the world on the 12th day of September in 2006. Their school-going children had to put on protective gear in case the destructive nuclear war they were expecting erupted before that date. In Uganda, there was a tragic end to a similar doomsday prediction. About 1,000 followers of Movement of the Restoration of the Ten Commandments of God were found dead after the world failed to end before the new millennium. When the cult promises you, like, Christ will come tomorrow, if he, if he doesn't come tomorrow, then you can go and join him. It's not only him who can come. You can also, <laughs> yes, you can also go and join him. Apparently an oath is inescapable when one is joining a cult. Teachings that will make one scared to leave follow. Sylvia Chibit, Citizen TV.